Hello folks, Rick Boyardi from Rick Boyardi World Builder YouTube channel coming at you just outside of Boston. I'm here. Take a look out there. This is Tufts Veterinary School and uh, sun's going down. It's getting a little cold, but I thought I would do this video because of the day I had. And the vid video is titled Unleash the Warrior Within. And what prompted this was a couple of things was the incongruity between a beautiful day like today and some of the stuff I saw on social media in France with the yellow vest movement and also a political discussion I was part of on Facebook today so um, I thought about filming this video in front of a cemetery actually to make my point about how important it is what we do now because uh, eventually time runs out for everybody but um, I thought this is a good view it's a better place it's a little too creepy to do a video in front of a cemetery but uh, the thing that was um, getting me in France is um, the way that it's a huge national issue and it's getting zero mainstream media coverage because the people that control all of this don't want you to know that you have power to rise up and create and demand change and be vocal about it. Um, and I also was thinking about it being a beautiful day today and how it's, it's nice to just be in the moment, enjoy your day, enjoy life, the simple pleasures. And that's great, but we don't have um, a guarantee that that will be around forever. Uh, I guess what I mean is there's, there's so much activity going on that wants to control and regulate and take that away and move all the goods and benefits that this world has to offer into their control and you know basically after everybody else and you know living here in the United States you you can have a lot of great days like this um, not so much say like in Mexico or uh, or what's going on in France or some of the other countries I've been to it's just man uh, it's more critical when you realize how critical it is when you go to other countries and see some of the things that are going on um, I keep having that Roger Waters, Pink Floyd song in my mind, Us and Them. It just keeps running through my mind today. But back to the Facebook thing. Um, you know, I, I, for one, am not a member of either, in the U.S., either political party, because they're smoke screens. They serve the same people at the top. And while there's an ideological difference between the two, really, it, it really doesn't play out. It's just the elite cabal just gets more control and more powerful. And it's all a game, in my opinion. So, and I also choose to say what I believe in social media, knowing that um, I'm not going to get just one group of party people angry and hating me it's going to be both sides <laughs> but I feel that it's imperative that we evolve to something beyond what we have now and if I'd said nothing and got spooked by the heat or the potential for the hater comments um, I wouldn't be doing my part that I was called to do and I've known I've been called to do this since I was a little boy. So, um, anyway, you know, I'm just thinking like this one guy in particular, he's on there and he's, now he doesn't know me. He, he's, I've posted a few things and his responses, while a lot of his points are well thought out, 
he had the added part of being incredibly rude and hateful. And so at first I would like his comments, even though I didn't agree. And I would politely point out that his attitude towards me, and he doesn't know me, is immature and lacking in wisdom. And um, I used his words back at him because when I posted what I felt, because he didn't agree, he chose to tell me that I was immature and lacking wisdom, not knowing at all the years and years and years of research and life experience that went into my comments. And I held my tongue, held my tongue, held my tongue to the very end. I said, you know, to judge me without ever meeting me or having a face-to-face -face or an in-depth com conversation is immature and lacking wisdom. Um, I still feel like I held my tongue. But anyway, uh, you know, what do we want and how do we get there? And what do I mean by unleash the warrior? And whenever I say warrior, to this day, I think about the movie The Warriors where um, I forget the guy's name, but he's, he's one of the bad guy gang members. And he's got the three beer bottles. He's going, shh, 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 shh. Warriors come out to play, yay. That guy. Anytime I hear the word warrior, I think of that. Or the Golden State Warriors. One of the two. Anyhow, um, we know that there's a lot of division created. And, and like the Facebook thing I was talking about. That is an example of it. We're divided by these political parties. Um, you see on social media, the genders kicking each other's asses, all these stupid ass commercials coming out, like Gillette saying men are fucked up. And uh, you know, they're a bunch of boneheads. And uh, I take offense to that because there's a lot of great guys out here. Um, and, you know, like I was thinking about this, that today's world is it, I, I feel like we're, I actually totally believe we're at a tipping point in the world. And, you know, some people will say, well, look at human history, how god awful it was. Like say when Genghis Khan would literally trample the entire city with the, the guys on their horses. They would just squish everybody in the city except for the hot women that Genghis would impregnate. And that's why his genetic seed is all over the world. But um, what was my point? Okay, my point is this, is that why are we at a tipping point now? It's because the technology has given us the ability to um, have an actual global situation happen. Whereas, you know, look at the past hundred years, the, the war to end all wars, World War I, you know, pretty big, all of Europe, World War II, Pacific Theater joins in. Um, I think, you know, the, the threat of nuclear destruction toned it down for 50 years after that. But um, I feel like well, again, I know that just even this, this technology of YouTube, uh, you know, for all the good that it brings, there's also like the whole Facebook stuff and Google, what they do behind the scenes and your TVs are watching you and your laptops. And I, I, I could go into it all day, but again, unleash the warrior. And I mean this for men and women. And, and I coach people in um, fitness and I coach them in nutrition. And in my fitness classes, um, I see the, the, the true strengths that people have. And they, you know, they've got it in them. They all have it in them. Um, but a lot of daily life kind of keeps you locked in. You're not, you don't know often that you have this ability in you to express, to have this warrior come out and with it, this gift that you have, that the reason you're here with this gift um, is often so suppressed by the way we live um, in terms of just chunks of time, 
um, all stemming from, uh, well, an astronomical calendar, but then uh, debt being added to it. So everybody has to work in segments, boom, 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 to pay off debt that is monthly, monthly, monthly. And we kind of, the world gets in this treadmill and they don't know how to, they, uh, they don't know, first of all, that it, it can be something different than this. I guess kind of like the movie The Matrix, you know, it took like Morpheus and Trinity and Neo to start waking people up. And, and people are waking up. And again, I, I guess I'll go back to um, social media with all these arguments. I also believe that's a sign that people are waking up all over the place but it's like a big giant family argument. And I'm from an Italian family, um, which means I know about family arguments and loudness and everybody talking at once. Um, and to go back to the thing I started this with about France, another thing, a weird thing is France being on my mind is because I took one of those ancestry I knew I was Italian American. I know where my family's from in Italy, and you know I know all of them. And that's my dad's side, but I never knew my mom's side. I had heard rumors, um, and she died decades ago. So I was curious, and um, I did the test. It comes back 84% French. I I had no idea. And, and the weird thing is, I've always loved French culture, and the people, and so forth so who knew so italian french and i also had a little bit of spanish in the mix which i didn't know about but i had suspected that as well um but anyway what do we do to unleash the warrior a lot of it is is you got to be aware of your unconscious mind and that you can reprogram it because a lot of what you are and your 95% of your responses come automatically without your thought, without your even knowing it. And generally you were programmed when you were a toddler. So whatever that environment was, is still running you. But you can absolutely program it. And um, you know, remember that the conscious mind is in the external world. The senses, you know, look around, taste, smell, sight, hearing, all of that. But the unconscious mind it's what governs the universe, but it's also internal. And um, going back to the conscious mind, you know, it interprets all this data. Like again, like the matrix, and it streams in, we have opinions. But the unconscious mind is eternal, um, it's unlimited, it's um, all-knowing, and it, it makes up the fabric of the universe on the big scale all the way down to the subatomic. So what else do you do to unleash the warrior and reprogram your unconscious mind? You, now, I don't mean this like a hippie or one of those hippie yoga teachers, and I'm a yoga student, so I have the right to uh, make that joke. Um, is that get in touch with your feelings, okay? I'll just say it. But there is a lot to that because, like I said, we're on this treadmill and this segmented life and, and time marches forward. You don't often understand that your feelings, when they, they keep coming up, think of these things that come up and you feel it in your stomach or your back it starts to like go up like a cat or you feel a tingling on the back of your neck, or your jaw gets tight, whatever. All of those things are in there waiting to be processed. And when you start to accept those, you start to gain freedom and you start, uh, what it is is you, you've moved beyond them, you've graduated, and now you can start to reprogram. And um, you know, when I say, understand your feelings and process them in the here and now.